Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the future. The future for some of you is discovering something new, and for others, is working or trying something new. But the future with respect to me as an electrical engineering is the energy. The energy exists all around us, and so far we are not using it. Let us talk about solar energy. I am from Egypt. We have a lot of solar radiations, but it is not used verbally. So today, I'm not going to talk about all the energy types, but I'm talking about only one source from the heat. Heat maybe from the sun, or heat maybe from the human body. To know what is it and how it is working, let's go back in time, in 1816, at the beginning of the first industrial revolutions. A Scottish scientist named Robert Stelling. Robert Stelling invented an engine. It was named after this by his name, Stelling Engine. Let us explain it by a simple way. The engine before this was a large tank, like the place we are sitting in now. But now science and technology come to a smaller size, like this one. Let us explain by simplest way. Let us imagine a cylinder like this one, which has a lower blade, upper blade, and inside the cylinder, nothing, only air. If we close the cylinder very well, what will happen? Nothing, because the closed medium. But if we have a heat source under the cylinder, what will happen? The air inside the cylinder will acquire heat. The air density will decrease. The weight of the air will decrease. The air will move up, 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 until it reaches the upper blade. The upper blade is cold, and the air is hot. The air will lose part of its heat by the second law of thermodynamics. So the air density will increase, the air weight will increase, the air move down, 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 until it reaches the bottom blade. The air acquire heat from the bottom blades, move up, down, up, down, and so on. If we have a slide in the middle of the cylinders, it will move up, it move down. If we have a mechanical designs, we will get a rotational movement from only one thing, heat. Heat may be from the human body, maybe from the solar energy, maybe from a lot of sources around us. But what is the application of the Stelling engine right now in our life? Did you hear before about solar dish system? Solar dish system is a group of mirror concentrating the solar radiation in a point of focus. This point inside it, Stelling engine. And there are many power plants using Stelling engine. Right now I'm using a Stelling engine in my research in the cleaning system of photovoltaics. I'm using these motions here in a research in Germany for taking this motion directly for moving the brushes in the cleaning of photovoltaic panels. So we can do a lot of things only from one source, heat. Thank you so much.